Hey guys, Tom from How to Wrangler here. Uh, a little bit of a different video today. Uh, this is more of a technical video than anything else, but um, a lot of people have uh, iPhones uh, using them with the Uconnect system in the Jeep, and uh, you probably noticed that the uh, Uconnect does not work with Siri, uh, especially on the newer vehicles. So uh, there was a software update that apparently canceled it out, but there is a way that you can get uh, you connect to work with Siri on your phone so you can read text messages voicemails all that stuff without having to actually pick up the phone um, So I'm gonna go through the process and we're gonna start out on the computer here now the guy who actually developed this software um, I'm gonna put some links on the bottom for how you can get this software Basically, you just have to send him a PayPal message um, You know, I'll, I'll include the text that you need to have in there. It's 20 bucks Best 20 bucks I've ever spent because now you connect works with uh, my Siri and uh, I think you guys will enjoy it So here we go the first step you're gonna go into your PayPal account and you're gonna click pay or send money and Send money to friends or family. This doesn't have any fees. Uh, the guy who made the software asked us to do this um, I was a little bit worried about this because you can't dispute a friends or family payment But uh, I did the test and he sent me the software over right away. So go ahead and click here uh, and copy the email address from the description below. This is the guy. Um, and the amount is $20. I'm going to click next. And then you're going to get this little add a note option. Uh, so you're going to say for iPhone Uconnect modification, Tom from how to Wrangler sent me. Okay, and then you're gonna say my email is, and then you're gonna pop your email in there, and then you're just gonna click send, and then I'll show you on the next step here, the email that I received. Okay, so once you receive this email, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, even though it's the second instruction, is to put a thumb drive into your computer and format it to FAT32. Now on a Mac, like I am, you're going to go into Disk Utility, and you're going to see your USB disk right here, and you're going to click on Erase, and it's the first format should come up, MS-DOS FAT, that's what you want. You click Erase, and, and you're going to click on the link to download the file. It's going to open up a little window, and it's going to start downloading. Okay, now once the file is downloaded, you're going to see it's going to have your name at the front in parentheses. So you want to go to the file and you want to make sure that you take off the parentheses and your name so it's named uconnect.upn. And then you're just going to drag this file into your USB disk that you just formatted. Make sure it's in there. Eject out the disk. Grab it and you're going to bring it out to your Jeep. Okay, so now that we're out in the Jeep, I'm going to take the USB and I'm going to pop it into the center console USB. Next step, I'm going to press the Uconnect phone button. iPhone 6. Is connected. Uconnect phone ready. Setup software update. Starting software update process. Please wait. Okay, and there it goes. Now this might take a little while, so I'm gonna let it go. It's gonna say SW update started. And you're gonna hear a series of beep. So I'm gonna let this go, and I'm gonna come back once it's done. Okay, now that the setup is done, it'll just go off, it's gonna reboot, but you don't really see that apparently. Um, and once it's finished, you pop out the USB card. And then just to test and make sure that you got the right system software, it should be 63.06.03. So you're going to do this. Press the button. iPhone 6. Is connected. You connect phone. Ready. Set up system software. Please attach USB master. Now you can see right here it says 63.03.06. Sorry, I messed it up. I said 06.03. It's 03.06. Once you've got that, you know you've got it right. It's going to ask you to connect the card again. Don't worry about that. It's going to work. So now 
you might have to reconnect your phone to the Bluetooth at this point just to make sure that everything's all set. And as you can see, I've got here, got my radio on, and I can just press the button. Siri, what time is it? The time is 3.25 p.m. And there you go. So Siri is working. Now once it closes out, it's going to say phone call ended. It's going to act just like a phone call, but you're going to be all set. Call completed. Now Siri will work completely with your Uconnect system.